In this class, uh, I will explain about another device uh, known as orifice and mouthpiece, which is also used to measure uh, discharge. So, in fluid mechanics, uh, the measurement of flow is very, very important uh, because uh, you may have to design a pipe or a channel for conveying uh, water for the required purpose. <coughs> that is why these are all the various devices uh, which have been developed based on that continuity equation and uh, Bernoulli's equation to measure the flow. So here orifice can be defined as an opening in a tank at the wall or bottom to measure the discharge. See here I have given the sketch here. This is a tank where some uh, liquid is stored, for example, water is stored and uh, an opening is pointed at the wall of the tank that opening may be of any shape so with the uh, dimension let us take I have taken it, it as D and uh, this opening is uh, provided to measure the discharge from this tank to some another uh, tank or some uh, required uh, container so here the whatever uh, depth of water is there from the center of this opening, this opening itself is called as the orifice. So from the center of this opening to the free surface, which is the free surface, whatever depth of water is there, that depth of water is called as H or head, head over the orifice. So D is the dimension of the orifice. So it emerges out in the form of a jet. So water emerges out from through the opening from the tank in the form of a jet and Q is the discharge of the rate of flow which is uh, measured in meter cube per second or meters per second. So the for main aim is to get the expression for this Q in terms of this D and H. So by measuring that uh, H over the orifice and also by knowing the dimension of the orifice or you can say area of the orifice, we can always compute the discharge through the orifice. So we can prove that uh, the velocity, whatever velocity of flow is there here, the velocity depends on this value of h, head over the orifice. So once you know the velocity in terms of h here, that velocity when it is multiplied by the area, you are going to get the discharge because q is equal to a into v. Similarly, the orifice can be at the bottom of the tank also, something like this with the dimension D and here the H above the orifice will be the entire uh, depth of water. So mouthpiece, the other, another one is mouthpiece. Sometimes a tube, a tube is attached, a tube of uh, a short tube of length uh, not more than 2 to 3 times of its diameter fitted to an orifice of same diameter to measure the discharge. So sometimes a tube is attached to this opening to this opening to measure the discharge that tube is attached only to reduce the losses or uh, you can say that uh, the coefficient of discharge of mouthpiece is always greater than the coefficient of discharge of an orifice of same diameter when they are working under same head so that is a mouthpiece that is a short tube now coming to the types of orifice or classification of orifice is an important question so based on the orifice can be classified in so many ways. So there are four different uh, bases for the classification of orifice. The first basis is based on the size. So based on the size of the orifice, it can be classified as small orifice and large orifice. A small orifice is the one where the head for the orifice is greater than 5 times the dimension of the orifice, that vertical dimension. So, Large orifice is the one where the value of it is less than or equal to 5 times d. So, using the geometry of the orifice and the head over which uh, the orifice is uh, working, so you can classify the, this that into small and large orifice. Coming to the second classification, based on the shape, it can be classified as rectangular, circular, triangular, and square. So, usually these are different geometrical shapes. Uh, uh, that we can provide uh, as an opening in a tank. So rectangle means the width can be taken as B and depth can be taken as D so that the area in this case is B into B. So area of the orifice becomes 
B to D here. So through that area, water flows. Circular orifices, diameter D, so area becomes pi D square pi 4. Or if you, if you know the radius, it is pi R square. The triangular orifice, uh, width of the orifice is B R. Base you can take as B and uh, height of the orifice you can take it as H. It can be fitted like this or it can be fitted like this also. In both the cases, the area of the orifice through which the water flows is nothing but half into base into height. So B H by 2. Coming to the square shape, so here both the dimensions will be equal. So A is equal to B, A is equal to B to B that is B square. So depending on the shape, geometrical shape of the orifice, it can be classified as rectangle, circular, triangular, square. Then coming to the third classification, based on uh, the shape of upstream edge. So this is the important thing. So here you can see this is the tank. So this is the tank wherein orifice is provided here. This is the orifice opening. So if the upstream edge, so this is this is called as the upstream edge. This if the upstream edge is provided like this in this fashion, then it is called as sharp edge orifice. Sharp edge orifice. If the upstream edge is provided in this fashion, so see the difference here between this and this, then it is called as bell mounted orifice. So depending on the shape of upstream edge, so it can be like this. So in this case, I have taken like this. In this case, it is opposite. So that means it is like this. So it can be classified as sharp edge than bell mouth. Coming to the fourth classification based on discharge condition. So the first case in this is, the first case in this is discharging free orifice. See if the jet of water is exposed to atmosphere pressure, pressure on the downstream side. So this is the upstream side, this is the downstream side. So jet will be there on the downstream side. If the jet is open to atmosphere, then only atmospheric pressure will be acting on the jet. In such a case, it is called as discharging free orifice. Second type, submerged or ground orifice. In this case, you can see that the here, this is the jet. You have to take this as the jet here. So you can see that there are two containers. Water is flowing from this container to this container, but the orifice is drowned or it is submerged. It is submerged within these two levels. So then it is called as submerged or drowned orifice. You can observe here that here in this case, jet is not under atmospheric pressure. It is with some other pressure. So jet is not will be the jet, jet will not be in the atmospheric pressure. Next coming to the third, partially submerged orifice. So in our partially drowned orifice. In this case, only a portion of the opening, a portion of the opening is uh, uh, free and a portion will be submerged. So then it is called as partially submerged. In this case, what happens, the discharge here, so at this junction, the discharge here will be the sum of these two discharges. So please note that here, this Q1, discharge Q1 is discharge free condition because this portion is exposed to atmosphere, whereas discharge Q2 is submerged condition. So partially submerged means it is combination of discharging free and submerged free. A portion is discharging free, a portion is partially uh, is partially submerged, then it is called as partially submerged. You can have different uh, expressions to find out the discharge in different cases. Anyway, all the types is not there for you, only, <coughs> only some types are there. Let us discuss that later. Now this, are, this is how the orifice can be uh, classified based on different criteria. Coming to the mouthpiece, different types of mouthpiece or classification of mouthpiece. So only two types are there, two bases, uh, two bases uh, uh, there is classified based on shape, first is based on shape. So here, you can see, uh, as already told, <coughs> it is a short tube. Both pieces is a short tube. This is the mouthpiece. It is a short tube which is attached to the orifice. So this is the opening is called as the orifice. It is attached to the orifice of same diameter. 
we can see here both these diameter is also d r equal diameter is also d of same diameter to measure the distance the purpose of uh, providing this mouthpiece is as already told if you provide mouthpiece so then uh, what happens uh, the losses will be less and you are going to get efficient discharge compared to orifice now here uh, this uh, is, is a cylindrical mouthpiece because it has got constant diameter so it is d here d at this end also it is d so uniform diameter if the tube has got a uniform diameter then it is called as cylindrical or constant diameter mouthpiece second type is you have converging type so if the diameter of the mouthpiece so this is the tube this tube is the mouthpiece if the diameter of the mouthpiece is reducing so that means it is converging something like this converging then it is called as converging mouthpiece or convergent mouthpiece so here the diameter is varying from d1 to d2 in the opposite way suppose if the diameter is increasing then it is called as diverging or divergent mouthpiece it will be like this d1 will be increasing to d2 so it is divergent so something like this then you have convergent divergent so combination of both so certain length up to certain length it can be convergent then upwards it can be divergent so this is called as convergent divergent mouthpiece so this is the classification based on the shape of uh, the mouthpiece based on the position so mouthpiece uh, the short tube uh, can be fitted either internally or externally so suppose if it is fitted outside the tank so then it is called as external mouthpiece of course depending on the diameter it can be uh, taken as external cylindrical or external convergent external divergent or external convergent divergent like that so it depends on the position here since it is uh, Uh, provided outside the tank it is called as external of course the diameter is same therefore it is cylindrical suppose if the diameter is increasing then it is external divergent external divergent please note that in all the cases this h is measured from the center of the orifice now in this case you can observe here is this is internal so the tube is called internal and the diameter is constant therefore it is internal cylindrical mouthpiece so like this you can classify orifices and mouthpieces so you can have different equations or expressions for the discharge for all the different types of orifices anyway uh, you have universe syllabus you have the <coughs> discharge equation for the sharp edged combination sharp edged small orifice and uh, second one is large orifice and uh, both those two things uh, uh, you should learn uh, then in the case of mouthpiece uh, you can have the discharge equation for external cylindrical mouthpiece so the thing is in the case of mouthpiece uh, main thing is the discharge uh, value the discharge of water will be high compared to that of orifice of same diameter when working under same head because losses will be less in the case of mouthpiece in other words the value of cd coefficient of discharge is more is more for a mouthpiece compared to that of an orifice